Asal and Sunflowers hmm? by Asal. Asal, Bluey, and Bingo are very excited. Today their classroom is in the school garden. This means their class would be visiting the sunflowers they had planted weeks ago. In the garden, they saw little spurts that pushed against the rich soil. Bees and butterflies fluttered from one, one flower to the next. Plants like animals and humans start small, said Asal to Bluey and Bingo. The butterflies you see started out eggs that hatch into fuzzy caterpillars. You and I were once zygotes that grew in our mother's womb. How about plants instead of eggs? They can start out as... asked Asai. Seeds! said Bluey and Bingo. <coughs> That's right. They can also start out as spores. They can be planted directly into the soil or transported by nature's helpers like the wind or insects. After being planted, they will begin to sprout. What is the process? Germination, answered Bingo. Exactly because the temperature and soil Conditions were perfect for growth or sunflower seeds were able to germinate. As they grow, plants make minerals from the soil and make their own food from sunlight and water. Mm. This process is called photosynthesis. As they grew, buds formed and started to open. As I pointed to the blooms that will last about for 20 days. They observed as insects come and go to pollinate other flowers. Mm -hmm. What happens after that? Asel asked. The plant's petals will later shrink and wilt. Eventually, all the petals will be gone. Hmm? It is sad to see these flowers so full of color and life suddenly wilting and turning brown. Yes, it is sad, as I said, but think of how their seeds will be scattered and released back into the earth. That will be the start of new sunflowers, Bingo realized. Hmm. Indeed, this whole process is called the plant's life cycle. Bingo smiled to herself and thought of how wondrous nature can be. Hmm. That's the end.